Hello and welcome everybody. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make an armature for uh, for a bust. Um, I have prepared uh, <coughs> a socket with um, a piece of 5mm um, aluminum wire and you can get this in any store that, uh, that stocks materials for uh, for gardening so a florist for example we want to start by attaching um, the area that uh, will make up the shoulders and if you want to do hands it will also be the hands so I made this a bit longer than what I'm actually going to use with my actual sculpt um, and I have some smaller wire, if I can find it, yeah, it's here. <coughs> so this is just from an electronic store, and it's usually, I think, used for uh, transformators that you can build yourself. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just attach just attaching the T, the horizontal um, wire to to the work the vertical wire, and then we'll just start by doing a couple of rounds like this. So we got some <coughs> some basic attachment going, and then kind of want to decide. Okay, where should uh, where should the head go? So probably about here. Um, can move a little bit down. at this stage um, if you have a more clear vision of what we, what you want to do you can you can make a, a sketch so that you know how, how much room you will need so here I'm just gluing this bit on um, don't use too much super glue uh, and I, I have an activator spray that I use for stuff like that. Just giving it a quick hit with the activator spray. What I also will do, I'll add some super glue along. the horizontal wire and then just put some wire around it like this because that way the clay will stick a lot better just go back again and also do that on the other side Just want to do that downwards. And at this 
state show, which is clipped off. Okay, so we've prepared um, the surface, as you can see. Just letting it dry a bit, because it's still uh, it's still wet to the touch. The glue. So something else we need, of course, is the head, and I'll start up here in order not to. Um, to get too close to the head, I guess, at this stage. I mean, the shoulders at this stage. And I want it to be something like this. Um, at this stage, we can also bend in um, the curvature of of the spine and we will have to bring up the, the head again so it should look something like this then uh, we can decide what uh, what pose the bus should have and um, probably going with uh, with a bit of an inclination so he's going to look this way Something else that helps is uh, gluing your uh, wire down to to the wood block. Kind of forgot to do that, so pull it out again a bit. <clears throat> Something that also helps mm, not to to have this area move too much as you apply clay. Uh, you can can use aluminum foil as a base, and that's what I'm going to do. Just a few strips. Then I will attach. just going to be my base um, and I don't want to go too thick at this point because I don't know yet about uh, the end design of this character um, as I apply clay and um, <coughs> the ribcage I'm going to start with the ribcage it won't move as much as it would around uh, just the wire so that's the thought behind this just uh, applying an activator spray and I have all my windows open around here so don't do this in, in rooms that aren't ventilated because it's still uh, it smells bad and 
it's probably not not healthy either. So one more thing that I want to do. Actually, I need a bit more of the aluminum foil. Um, I want to to create um, for the same reason that namely that we don't have the clay moving too much. I want to create something um, that's going to be the base of my skull. And uh, just like the wire that we um, put around the arms and down here, for example, um, aluminum foil has a certain uh, surface that will make the, the material stick to it better. Um, something that we left out and I'm going to cover that just now. It's this area, the area of the neck. So I also want some some wire around that just in case. Just in case the the polymer clay won't uh, doesn't want to stick. So this is the base for my character. Next up should be um, laying out the first uh, the first layers of clay. So the first layer uh, <coughs> of polymer clay, you want to be you want it to be really thin, and you're actually going to glue that on. Might have started a bit too low, yeah. yeah. We want we want to move this a bit further down. Of course, that's not too easy. Bending up. Okay, we're going to cheat a bit. Um, we're going to put the mass um, of the head a bit more up here. The distance between the neck and uh, and the shoulders. Yeah, that's.
that's a bit better. So something that I want to do right now is I'm going to cut that in half. And add a bit of uh, self curing epoxy. That will stabilize the whole thing a bit more. Okay, almost there. go something like this adding some glue again gluing it in and also adding some glue on top of this This is probably going to be the back side of, of the head. This curvature. <coughs> that leaves us with uh, some room for, for the jaw and for the front side. Okay, this uh, below here will dry out uh, on its own. And we can start putting on the rest of the clay. Something I'll do to reduce the movement down here is glue on a bit of uh, thicker wire. Stop the shape of the <coughs> of the um, of the spine should go should come out here.
want to make sure I get the width of the of the skull right. So I'm going to add a bit more on the side because that that measurement is going to determine um, <coughs> how how broad our shoulders are going to be. So yeah, just gonna measure a bit wider than this. Actually not too wide. Okay, something like this. And then go down roughly to where from where you measured and this is going to be where you're going to bend for the shoulder. a sharp bend where um, <clears throat> that's where your your scapula in the back will attach to more or less and um, and the collarbone so if you decide to go for for hands Obviously, this will be longer, but uh, personally, I'll just skip the hands and just do um, do the the shoulders. I want to concentrate more on the face than anything. I'll just cover the rest of the wire for now, and then uh, then we're pretty much done. Uh, looks pretty rough right now but this is of course just the first step now we're going to try to make it look pretty but yeah I'm more on that in the next video thanks for watching <laughs>